In this video, we will be using K's rule to calculate specific volume. So in this problem, we have a mixture of 65% hydrogen gas and 35% nitrogen gas in a molar basis. And it's all in a container at 500 atmospheric pressure and negative 50 degrees Celsius. We want to find the specific volume of the mixture in liters over moles, essentially volume over moles using K's rule to estimate. So in order to use K's rule, we need, to, we need to find the TC and PC value for hydrogen and nitrogen. So hydrogen. Now hydrogen and helium have a weird exception when you calculate TC and PC. So in a typical table, the value for TC would be 33 and the value for PC would be 12.8 for hydrogen. But for hydrogen and helium, what we need to do is calculate the adjusted critical constant. And so in that case, we add plus eight, plus eight. This rule only applies to hydrogen and helium. And so now this right here would equal uh, 41 K. And I would put a star right here, TC star and PC star. And 12.8 plus 8 would be 20.8 atmospheric pressure. This is for hydrogen. You can find this at, at the end of most chemical engineering textbooks, or you could even type hydrogen gas TC PC values. Next, we will do nitrogen. So nitrogen, um, we find TC would equal 126.2 Kelvin. Again, this came from you know a table at the end of a textbook or uh, through the internet, and we would get 33.5 atmospheric pressure. Now, the thing about K's rule, we use this whenever we have a mixture. So this is 65% hydrogen, and this is 35% nitrogen. So we need to calculate the pseudo critical constant, meaning where we consider the actual mixture. So the, the mixture TC value would equal, so we have 0.65 hydrogen, so 0.65 times 41, so 41K, plus uh, 0.35 the nitrogen times 126.2K. Now we would get 70.82K. Likewise, we do PC, same exact idea. So you have 0.65, the PC value for hydrogen was 20.8 atmospheric pressure plus 0.35 times 33.5 atmospheric pressure. And we would get 25.25 atm. Now the two numbers we just calculated, or as a reminder, is called the pseudo critical constants. From here, we will calculate TR and PR. So the formula for TR is the temperature in the container. In our case, we have negative 50 Celsius, but we want it in Kelvin. So negative 50 plus 273.15 would give us in Kelvin. Now we divide this by TC. TC we said was 70.82, 70.82 Kelvin. So the TR value is 3.151. Next we get PR, a similar idea. So we get the, uh, the pressure in the container, which is 500 atmospheres. So 500 ATMs divided by PC, PC was 25.25 atmosphere, and we would get 19.8. Now using TR and PR value, we will use a compressibility uh, chart. Um, you may be able to find it in the textbook, or you can search the internet. So essentially, we will be, we will be finding a point where TR of 3.151 and PR of 19.8 matches to give us a Z value. And in doing so, we get about 1.1. 1 
From here, we use the formula PV is equal to Z and RT. Now, we want to calculate the specific volume, which is L over mole. And so that means that this formula right here is good, but to make it even easier, we can do this. That this right here is equal to Z RT. This symbol right here means uh, volume over moles. So essentially V over N, it's equivalent. And that is what we want to calculate. So we will say that V caret is equal to Z RT divided by P. Uh, we said now Z was 1.1. We got it from a compressibility chart. R was 0 0.08206 um, liters times atmosphere divided by K times mole. And temperature was negative 50 Celsius, but we want it in Kelvin, so this could cancel. So negative 50 plus 273.15 K divided by pressure. Pressure was 500 atmosphere. Uh, let's check the units. So ATM cancels, Kelvin cancels, and we would be left off with liters over mole, which is what we want. And we would ultimately get 0 0.0403 liters per mole. And that is all that we need to do for this problem.